Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. My name is Susan LaCroix. This is my phenomenal daughter, Julie Davison. We are mother and daughter. We, of course, I just said that. We've been doing this <laughs> for 20 years, and uh, we love stamping and love sharing our joy of it with all of you. We live a couple of states apart, so decided that um, this is one way we can stamp together. Also, I'm going to start with Happy New Year. Today Yay, is Sunday, happy new year. <laughs> Sunday, January 1, 2023. I feel so old. I was going to say, it seems so futuristic. <laughs> like... It really does. And it takes it takes me a while to, like on checks and stuff, to write 23 and not 22. So. Yes, yeah. although I, I, ironically, I feel like I was writing 2023 early like there was some time a couple weeks ago like I, I wrote 2023 instead of 2022 which like, <laughs> has never happened ever well I just want to say really quickly that I may be absent from the chat on my video today because I am currently flying home from Florida <laughs> yes I'm yep. really excited about this trip we're going after Christmas and taking the kids down to Florida where we're renting a house and just having a whole week in the sun with a pool and a beach and just chilling. So it's going to be fantastic, although it's coming to an end today because we're flying home to your place and then we're driving home. So it's going to it's going to be crazy. I always hate the, the traveling home part, like traveling somewhere is fun because it hasn't started and it's exciting. But then the coming home just seems like it's long and it takes forever. And yeah, that's true. <laughs> But you guys will have a wonderful time. I know you will. Yes. So I the kids, you need this downtime. Yes. I was going to say, the kids are so excited. Um, and they're between semesters at school. So it's kind of um, a perfect timing. And for us, it's right before celebration starts and the new mini catalog starts. So I feel like the timing is great for us too. I'm so excited about this new mini catalog that's starting and celebration, which launches in just a few days on Thursday, January 5th. It's hard to believe it's time for a new catalog, but I'm ready for some new stuff. Aren't you? I am, and I um, I haven't I haven't had time to play as much as I wanted to, so I don't have any extra samples of anything. Um, <laughs> but that's okay because it I just I have to reward myself with stamping with new stuff. Yes. <laughs> after I get done with whatever it is I need to do, so um, I was excited, and this this is probably one of my favorite bundles and yeah. Paper. So, this one makes me think of you. Like honestly, when I saw the steam set, when I saw the designer paper, I was like, "Mom." <laughs> well, let's flip the camera around and we'll show off the products that we're using today. So we're going to use the Dainty Delight stamp set and dies. This is coming out in the January through April 2023 mini catalog. I'm not allowed to open up and show you the inside pages of the catalog yet until it launches on January 5th. But hopefully you guys have gotten your catalogs in the mail. Um, and if not, then if you if you don't already shop with mom or I to get a catalog, then um, you can shop at our online store and we will send you catalogs and hook you up. Um, so reach out, reach out to us. And then celebration starts as well, January 5th. This always happens every January and February. Free gifts with a $50 order. And so if you purchase the Dainty Delight Bundle with the coordinating dies, then you'll qualify to choose the Dainty Flowers designer paper or a different celebration gift for free. So let me start by showing you the bundle. This is a rubber um, rubber stamp set. Really beautiful imagery here with the line out art flowers and the mixed font sentiments. I love the um, I love the versatility. Thank you for your kindness. Celebrate you. The best is yet to come. And then the dies, of course, die cut the um, stamped images, but also there's some detailed dies that have some detailed flowers and other imagery to use um, on your projects. And this gorgeous Dainty Flowers designer paper, I had to show you the 12 by 12 form of it because um, it does have some patterns like the oval frames where you would be able to cut them into, you know, four, 
four by five inch pieces. Um, and then there's some borders here as well. And the other piece um, is also designed to cut in half and then cut into card front pieces. We've got gorgeous wildflower images. I sort of love the watercolor imagery, different colors here, rich razzleberry, crushed curry, blushing bride, old olives, some starry sky, which is really gorgeous. And you can see those colors really well in the B side um, patterns, which I think are just beautiful. Those, uh, that first piece and the other one, when you have your hand on, I'll, I think of Easter eggs. Oh my gosh, yes! My girls love to color Easter eggs and that totally looks like our paper towels when we're all set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that would be really cute to use for an Easter card or somehow try to die cut or punch out um, Easter eggs. I do have a few samples and so I want to show those before I turn it over to you, Mom. Um, okay. I use the designer paper Hold on, one of these cards, I have to wait. <laughs> um, I use the designer paper to make a clean and simple card here um, using just some stamps and then two of the different patterns. This is Blushing Bride and Starry Sky. Beautiful. And thank you. And then I love this designer paper with the frame. I don't know how well you can see it, but I added um, some vellum mm -hmm. die cut um, the vines that there's sort of two of them. So they're like in a in, in an arc and they line up really well with the designer paper. And then I just did an embossed image. Beautiful. Thank you. And the last one I shared um, in another video, just um, some fun layering. I used three different designer paper pieces and then stamped and colored um, the, the flower imagery to very add to the card. Pretty. Very, very pretty. Mm, I'm loving it. And I cannot wait to see what you created. Mom, are you ready to share your project? I sure am. Okay. So I am using... Um, a card design that I haven't done in a while. So I'm going to show you because it's a little bit different. So I'm starting with a piece of crushed curry, 11 inches by four and a quarter. And I have a couple of basic white pieces, five inches by three and a half and three and three quarter by two and a quarter. And of course, all of our measurements will be listed in the description. I took a couple pieces of the designer series paper and you'll need two of these, four inches by one and a half. And then another piece for the inside, which is four inches by one inch. I went ahead and die cut, um, stamped, colored, and die cut out the flowers. And I did a little scallop um, greeting here with Celebrate You. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way because I need to bring in my paper trimmer. Because I don't. I, I didn't pre-score this on purpose so I could show this to you. So we're going to start with our four inch by 11 inch piece and I'm going to cut a one and a half inch piece off. And then a two and a half inch piece off this. And then I'm going to score it at one and a half inches. Oops, let me get the score blade up and not the cutting blade. Because that would not work at all. All right. Measure twice. Score once. Oh, okay. That okay, did work. All right. So we're done with this. And then I'm going to fold this down. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to, I'm not going to attach this at all. This is going to kind of just stay there. And then this piece will go here. And then we're going to layer our one of our basic white pieces on it after we do some work with it. And then this piece will go on the inside. So actually, let's start with that inside piece. And I'm going- I never to... know what to call this card. Do you have a name for it? I don't. I, really I think don't. I usually call it a cut apart card because you cut it apart and then, but it's also sort of like a bridge card because you're bridging the two pieces, but yeah. the, the bridge card is something else. So, so, so maybe we should call it the cut apart, cut apart bridge card. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take my four inch by one inch piece and let's get out my handy dandy favorite glue. 
Come on. Oops. And I want to make sure my flowers are facing the right way. <laughs> I think I cut this wrong. Oh, no. I did. I'll have to just cut it off the edge here. I'll, I'll remeasure this and get it right in the description. Make sure I have the right. Yeah. So it doesn't need to be four inches. Is that piece for the front? This is for the inside. Okay. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to stamp our inside greeting in black memento. And it is the best is yet to come. I love that. It feels so hopeful and perfect for a New Year's card. Doesn't it? It really does. You're right. Okay. So the rest of my stamping is already done. So um, I am, so what I want to do is you'll see when this comes across here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay. So we're going to leave this for right now because I want to make sure I center it in there correctly. So let's now work on our focal point with our imagery. So let me bring these flowers in. And I um, actually, yep, okay. Actually, this is going to fit. I just kind of layered them. And it's okay if it sticks up a little bit. Oh, I love that. It's like a bouquet. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So, and the greeting is going to go down here in the bottom. So, let me start with this guy. Put a little blue on the back. Put this guy up here. We'll glue this guy down here. Oop. So now that it's the, hot, the for January 1st, now I start thinking about when I'm going to take down my Christmas decorations. <laughs> we usually leave them up until the epiphany. Oh, yeah, but they're not, they're not coming down anytime soon. It's only the first. I, re I remember one year, Jim's parents, um, we must have not seen them around Christmas time um, because they left their tree up because they wanted us to see it. Aww. And I think Thomas was just a baby, but they used to get a real tree, a really big, big Christmas tree. And <laughs> um, that year, we did not get there until almost Valentine's Day. Wow. And they left that tree up. Oh, did they really? Oh, my goodness. I can see Sharon doing that. Sure. Oh. oh. Okay. So now we are going to. I got little pieces everywhere here. We're going to take one of our um, pieces of designer series paper. And it's going to go along the top. And this guy is going to go on this. For our bottom. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Get over there. Get over there. All right. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put adhesive here and here, and I'm going to use a piece of tear and tape because why not? Right, Jules? <laughs> I love tear and tape. I use tear and tape all the time. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So I'm going to put some here.
I don't know why I haven't done this in a while. Oh, I feel like we look kind of cycle through cards. Yeah, and designs. I know this is a fun one though. And I like that you're using the piece from the middle. Like yes. Yes, yes, yes. It, it's kind of a fun. Yeah. All right. So this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here so pretty i love these colors i love this paper i love this stamp set <sighs> it'd be hard to tear myself away from it i think all right so what you want to make sure you do is line this up right on the bottom and then you can just set this down And so you, this is how it opens. Then we're going to put our inside piece right in here. So it's going to also form a little white border on either side here. That's nice. Just put this in here like so. And this down here we're getting there we're getting there loving it so now we're going to put a little liquid glue on the back of our greeting and put it on our scallop circle and get out some dimensionals where's my big guys And put this on and of course I have to bling I can't not bling right so of course <laughs> so I brought out I think these are <clears throat> got to be my favorite embellishments I was just thinking I feel like you pull those out for every card and it always <laughs> works so well I pretty much do <laughs> I'll admit it. So we'll put one here and we'll put another one over here. Over just a smidge. And then we want one more. My rule of threes. I think I'm going to put it hmm, up here. It really doesn't matter for you to see honestly and there is my card oh my goodness beautiful and it really isn't difficult so you know i hope that this has helped again i'll get the dimensions in there in the description and i, I think that's what i love so much about this card is that it's not that fussy and hard like you can make anyone can make it it's yeah it's an easy card but i think it's really a fun wow yeah i think so i may do something similar maybe with a different stamp set or whatever for hostess club this month oh yeah they would love that they would all right that's it julie i don't have any samples because like i said this is the first thing i've made with this <sighs> um and so i do have an extra one that i'll give to you Oh, yay. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, I've got a fun fold as well. And oh, no, I meant to grab my inspiration card. Uh, it's got to be close by. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh good. You're doing what I do. Where is it? Where is it? I know. <laughs> I just had it. Um well. Well, well, well. Um yeah, I don't know. Well, I can tell you it was a shoebox swap that was designed by Barb Hopper Price and it had a turkey on it. Oh, I see it. Hold on. <laughs> this was a fun card. <laughs> 
isn't her punch art so cute? I know Thanksgiving is over, but this is the leaf, um, the leaf and amber gem package that we had. And then um, the turkey body is made from the penguin punch. So cute. And I loved this because it just has kind of like a fun, like a fun little fold, a fun little angle. So this was inspiring me as I was sitting down to design a card. And so I am using that same fun fold. We're starting with a piece um, of cardstock. It's four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half and eight and seven eighths inch. So just a little bit before nine inches. And then I've got some designer paper pieces. These all three are the same size. There's two designer paper pieces that are three and one eighth by four inch, and then one white cardstock that is three and one eighth by four inches. Um, for the focal point, I've got a uh, designer paper that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and coordinating cardstock to layer that's three by three. One more piece of designer paper. It's two by four inches. And we're going to start by doing some cutting and then we'll glue all of our layers on. And I'm really excited to show you. Maybe we'll start with that first. <laughs> uh, this just, just arrived. My new Boho Blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. This is something that new demonstrators can get when they join the Stampin' Up! family during celebration. January 5th through February 28th, 2023. This is an exclusive color of the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it's an optional add-on um, for the starter kit. So during celebration, new demonstrators can get an extra $50 in their starter kit. So they're choosing $175 in product for the regular price of $99. And then if you want to add on the mini boho blue machine or the mini regular color machine, which is sort of like a light, like a white light gray, um, then you can do that for an extra $30. So that's more than half price, the mini machine. So an extra $50 in product plus the mini machine for half off, wowzers. And I couldn't help it. I had to give Lucy a little brother. <laughs> so what's this guy's name? I don't know. I was just thinking. Um, I really need to give it a name. And what is what is the male version of Lucy? Lucifer? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but you could you could. Well, this is gonna age me too. Desi. Oh it's my gosh, yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so <laughs> meet Desi. This is Desi, um, and this is Lucy's um, Lucy's brother. <laughs> Husband. Uh, if you're if you're new to watching, I call my mini machine Lucy um, because Lucy was a name that I considered for my daughters, but um, it just never it never happened. So I always said if I got you know, if we got a dog or something, we'd name, we'd name our dog Lucy, but then we got dogs and we didn't name them Lucy because they already had names. Um, and so, um, I named my little mini, my little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, Lucy. So now we've got Lucy and Desi. I love it. So this boho blue mini machine is only available for new demonstrators who join during celebration. It will not be available for sale afterwards. Current demonstrators can pre-order um, this machine from now until January 16th. Um, so you have just a couple more weeks. If you're already a demonstrator and you haven't gotten it yet, um, now is your chance. You'll be sad. If you don't, I think you need a Desi mom. <laughs> I have a little time to think about it. <laughs> I used some um, sticky notes to hold my die in place so it didn't move around. Um, and that usually works pretty good so that I get, um, I get it just perfectly. Okay, well, I had to show you that. I'm so excited about my new, new machine. And I'm so excited that you guys can get can get it at such an amazing deal. Let's get back to our card. I'm gonna bust out my paper trimmer for this next part. I did the scoring ahead of time, but we need to do a little bit of trimming to create the point on the card. So here's that card again. We've got a little point there at the end. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to mark the halfway points on the, we got a large section, a medium section, and a small section at the top. So half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. So I'm gonna line up my cardstock and you can use a pencil. I'm just gonna actually take my, my cutting blade and just start the various tiniest little cut um, as my reference point. And then I'm going to take um, and line up the score line and that center point in my cutting track and I'm going to cut. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just rotate it, line up the, the scoring line and that center point and cut. And so that's how I'm going to make the tip on, um, on our card. Definitely want to use um, a bone folder and get nice good creases here. That's going to fold forward like a regular card. And then this point is going to fold backwards. So kind of like a Z fold, except we added the point. So let's bring in our designer paper and we're going to put these pieces down. The smaller piece that's two inches by four inches is going to go on the inside of the card. So that's going to go right in here. And I'm just centering um, top to bottom and on the side. And then I have um, one piece is going to go in the center here. And the other piece that's larger is going to go in the front. While I've got it open, I'm going to do the, the inside white piece here. And I did add some stamping already. I used some fresh freesia to stamp the flowers and the inside sentiment, sending love during this season of growth. Okay, so that is the, that's the inside. And then this other piece of designer paper is going to go in here. This has a line that goes all the way top to bottom. So it, doesn't matter if those patterns line up because it's it's going to kind of be covered and you won't see that um, that sort of transition. Okay, then we've got our squares, two and three quarter inch designer paper layered onto three inch square, and this is going to go as a diamond onto that flap. So it's gonna cover that flap completely. So I'm gonna put my adhesive over here so that I don't accidentally put too much on the square and just line, line that up. Okay, so now we've got the base of our card. And now is the fun part. We get to do some decorating. So I've got the image that I colored with Stampin' Blends and die cut. I also die cut a flower from vellum just to kind of add some layering there. And then I, I was having a hard time deciding. You'll have to help me here, mom. Um, for the sentiment, originally I was thinking of doing the green um, label me fancy punch, but then I noticed I've got polka dots in the background there. And so I was trying to decide if I liked um, the circle better and I have the circle in green or white, which kind of goes with the designer paper. Wow. I, I definitely like the circle better than the, uh, the other label. And okay, well, I think I definitely like the white better. What do you think? Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'm leaning towards the white. It really okay. makes the sediment pop. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to start by gluing these down and then I will add... Um, I'm going to add the circle with some Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm kind of thinking I should have gotten a little bit of um, ribbon out, so hold on just one second. I oh, think it needs idea. just like maybe a little bit of that um, fresh freesia ribbon yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to do a bow for the bottom of the flowers, like a little bouquet. Um, I was thinking more like adding to the bouquet that it would be part of that. I don't know. Originally, I was thinking I would add like a twine bow and maybe I should go back to that idea. Oh, I kind of like that too. I 
I need a, a few more hands to help me hold everything down. See, I like that. I think that's very pretty. Okay. Well, good. Uh, let's glue this down. I'm going to use a regular, just a little bit of regular glue to um, kind of fold this on itself like that. And um, And then some, I'll use my liquid glue. Yay! <laughs> um, and we'll add this kind of over. Light, just kind of layering that on there as well. And then I think I'm going to use, um, you know what? I'm, I'm not sure about the liquid glue sticking to this yeah. is so small. I'm going to use a little glue dot. Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to put it like at the base of the flower. Yeah. I just think that's going to um, kind of hold, hold it better. Yeah. And then we'll add that circle with the Stampin' Dimensionals. Beautiful, Julie. Oh, thank you. I have another version I think you're going to love even more <laughs> because I think the colors are a little more you. But before we do that, uh, how about some bling? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I've got iridescent pearls and brushed brass butterflies. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that's a tough one. I'm going to use the pearls because I've got um butterflies on the other one okay i feel like i'm covering up that vellum flower so much okay here is oh the so purple version cute. and are you ready yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> oh yeah that's gorgeous this one was so fussy with all these tiny little die cuts and so I'm going to give you a little tip on on what I did for them I took my um you could take your silicone pad too but I took my stamp and dimensionals and um where I have a big empty space and I added some liquid glue and then um I kind of like trolled it around and I took my um take your pick tool with the putty tip. And uh -huh. so I picked up, um, this isn't a die cut, but I, I picked up the um, the die cut because it was so little and I picked it up with the putty and I just sort of like dabbed it into the glue yeah. so that yeah. just a little bit of glue got on it. And then I transferred it to the project and it worked like a charm because check out how thin those stems are. Oh my, yes. I don't even know if adhesive sheets would work really well, but um, this little trick with the liquid glue worked perfectly. And then I've got those bra the the brushed brass butterflies um, to finish off that card. So this or that, you'll have to leave a comment. Are you more oh, of a well. purple girl or <laughs> I know which one you like? <laughs> oh, thank you, Barb, for the inspiration on this fun pull card. I really enjoyed making it. Well, let's turn the camera around and we'll show off our projects together. All right. Jeez. <laughs> oh, these dainty flowers are just gorgeous. And as a reminder, you can get the designer paper for free during celebration with a $50 order. That starts in just a few days on Thursday, January 5th. So uh, get your list ready. Be ready to start shopping. I'm sure it's going to be a busy day on Thursday. Uh, but celebration lasts for two months. So you'll definitely have some time to get these goodies before they go away. Absolutely. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these projects today as we kick off 2023 with some brand new product and some supplies like that. But whoa. A little Desi. We'll yes, <laughs> a little Desi. <laughs> so, Julie, uh, I know you've had a fantastic time in Florida by the time this airs, so I can't wait to hear all about it. 
And um, until next Sunday, stamping with Susan and Julie, have a wonderful new year, a wonderful week as we wind up this holiday season. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Happy new year. Bye, mom. Bye, babe. Love you. Love you too.